Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rahul Vag. I am a consultant surgical oncologist at Manipal Hospitals Baner, Pune. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic that is skin cancer. So as we all are aware, skin is a very important organ of our body and various cancers can affect uh, skin and uh, can cause in, uh, various tumors. As we all know, uh, there are multiple types of cancer. So most common cancers which occur on skin, uh, they are basal cell carcinoma, then squamous cell carcinoma of the skin and melanoma. Apart from that, there are some uncommon tumors which can also occur in the skin, in which includes uh, dermatofibrosarcoma protuberance, then Merkel cell tumor of the skin, then um, angiosarcoma and sebaceous carcinoma. So um, the most important ones which occur in skin are basal cell carcinoma. Uh, they are the uh, most common type of skin cancer and they usually occur in the sun exposed uh, part of the skin like over the face and um, the other sun exposed part. Uh, there are various etiologies which are responsible for skin cancers which include uh, exposure to sunlight, history of sunburn, exposure to UV rays, then exposure to ionizing radiation. Also, there are various uh, genetic mutations which can also be responsible for uh, formation of skin cancers. Then there is an exposure to certain chemicals like arsenic or there are other um, uh, chemicals like polycyclic um, aromatic hydrocarbons. Uh, then uh, post organ transplant situations uh, where you are immunosuppressed or other immunosuppressive conditions they are all responsible for the uh, formation of skin cancers so what are the uh, signs of skin cancers uh, usually any ulcer which is um, occur on a uh, sun exposed part of your body and or any wound which is not healing and which is like uh, very friable bleeds on touch or there is any change in the uh, color of the uh, mole which was present on your body and which has suddenly changed in size, shape and it has become irregular. So you should always consult your doctor for further investigations. Uh, the treatment and diagnosis of skin cancer you know, is uh, diagnosis is usually done by a means of a simple test called as a biopsy which is an OPD procedure where it will take a uh, small punch from the uh, uh, that uh, skin and we send it for an histopathological examination. So once the diagnosis is confirmed, uh, various skin cancer are uh, treated in a different different ways. So usually basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma they are treated with the help of surgery, uh, where we uh, do a surgery to remove the uh, that particular tumor and simultaneously a small plastic surgery is also done uh, to reconstruct that particular uh, area of the skin. Uh, for melanomas, which are again another aggressive type of a skin cancer, uh, if they are detected earlier, then um, surgery to remove the uh, melanoma with adequate margins and for the sampling of the lymph nodes, which are draining uh, that particular area, is the treatment of choice. Uh, if unfortunately your tumor has uh, progressed to an advanced stage, then in that case, we have to go for a treatment like immunotherapies or chemotherapies and um, uh, majority of the skin cancers are curable so um, if you are um, uh, having any lesion on your skin you should be aware about it and you should get it investigated at the earliest so that your tumor is detected at an earlier stage and we are able to address that and cure it thank you